Good evening, Learning 2. Woo, we still have some energy. Uh, my name is Heather, and I'm very good at math, but I cannot draw. You probably have your own version of that statement. Take a moment and think about what your version of that statement might be. Now share that with your neighbor quickly. So, there's a theme. I think our statement's making us laugh. There's a theme that I've noticed over the last couple of days of learning two talks, and that is one of risk-taking. On opening night, Kim asked you what risk you were going to take. And yesterday morning, Sarah asked you what your newest mistake might be. So in the spirit of, of that, in the spirit of risk-taking, I challenge you during this talk to think about this I can't statement. I'm here to warn you about those two words and to share with you my journey from having a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. I've always thought that there were two kinds of people in the world. There were the math science people like me and there were the creative types who could draw and write. And I was the math type and even though I wanted to be the creative type, I just thought, well, that's the way it is. It's one or the other. But then I became a teacher and it was now my responsibility to get all of my students in my classroom to learn math. And I really believed that they all could learn math. And so I started to think, maybe this or is an and. But I still had this tension, because could I really believe that all of my students could learn math when I couldn't believe that I could be creative? Up until that point, this is the extent of my drawing, and if there are any physics teachers in the room, you're smiling, because this is our language. I got very good at drawing stick people, but this is about where it ended. Meanwhile, the art teachers who I've worked with over the years started to share with me that they believed that anyone could learn to draw and anyone could learn to paint. And they believed it in the same way that I believed that everyone could learn math. And so even though I was skeptical, I signed up for an art class, and I had an amazing teacher who took the process of drawing and broke it into steps that I could absorb and I could learn. And I learned to break things apart into shapes and sketch those shapes and shade until I had something that looked like a drawing. And I thought, well, maybe I can draw. I didn't have the language to describe what was going on until I recently read Carol Dweck's book on mindset. And what Dweck's research says is that we all have a fixed mindset or a growth mindset, depending on what aspect of our life that we're talking about. People with a fixed mindset, um, people with a fixed mindset believe that intelligence and talent is fixed and doesn't change. People with a growth mindset believe that intelligence and talent can increase with practice. I had a very fixed mindset about art and creativity. I couldn't draw, but really, the reality is that I never tried. Which goes along with Dweck's research. People with a fixed mindset avoid challenge. They're afraid of failure. And when they do fail, they tend to be paralyzed by that failure and they give up. On the other hand, those with a growth mindset, they embrace the challenge. That they know this is how they can learn. And when they do have a failure, they deal better with it and they figure out what they can learn from it. Why was I good at math? Well, I studied math all through school. I spent hours doing stuff like this, making mistakes, sometimes not getting good grades, and I kept going. Of course I was good at math. I have a very growth mindset about math and science. In short, a growth mindset is a learner's mindset. So how can we encourage our students to have a growth mindset? Recent research had middle school teachers grade middle school essays, and then researchers randomly stuck one of two sticky notes on the essays. One sticky note said, here are some comments so that you have some feedback. Another sticky note was more of a growth mindset message, saying, I'm giving you these comments because I have very high expectations of you, and I know that you can achieve them. You can probably guess which group of students chose to embrace the challenge of revising their essays. The growth mindset group. These students revised their essays and got higher scores on them. So what does that mean for our students? 
I believe this means that we need to believe in our students. We need to believe that they can learn at high levels, but not only believe it, we need to tell them that we believe they can make it. And while you're at it, model this and believe in yourself. What is your fixed mindset? What is your I can't? Here are some of my sketches and some of my math, um, some of my creative endeavors. I no longer say I'm good at math, but I can't draw. I say, I worked hard to be good at math, and now I'm working hard to be creative. And here is my final sketch from that art class. I'm, thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I am proud of it, but the bigger learning for me was learning to have a growth mindset about my own creativity. So I ask you, learning to participants, I ask you to believe in yourself and believe in your students. Empower your community to turn their I can'ts into I cans. My name is Heather, and I'm good at math, and I can draw. <laughs>